Hi guys, this is Dan from Adventure Plumbing. We're here today in Kings Langley. The client was told that there was a collapsed pipe. So what we've done is we've come, we've come in with our jetta and camera equipment and uh, we've actually found the issue to be a um, large root grown in a join of a terracotta pipe. So we've uh, used our jetta, uh, jetta gear to get the line completely clear. Now we're here today to do a pipe reline. Uh, we've just got the hole exposed. So what we're doing now is we've just got to rip out the, um, the old inspection opening and sewer shaft um, junction. And then that's going to create our access to the issue upstream, which is um, about seven metres in. So what we do, uh, we just we put a four inch plunger down the main sewer shaft there, just so it doesn't fill up with dirt and um, foreign objects. So we'll pull that out now. Jack, you want to pull that collar out? So we've just got this, uh, we just got this pipe exposed. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to put our camera up, upstream and find the troubled spot. And then we're going to put a mark on the, on the camera cable. And then um, that's going to be our, our length for the, uh, for the pipe reline. So this is our um, Solo Pro camera. So what we're going to do is just feed this up the pipe and um, identify our uh, troubled spot. It's a great bit of kit this, this uh, camera. <laughs> so we've got an LED light so we can see uh, inside our pipe. Okay, ready? Can you zero that for me, Jackson, please? Now, seven metres in. See, we're at 2.5 now. It's all going to need a bit of attention. It's, uh, So this is just to protect our, um, our packer. A lot of guys have plastic sleeves that they use instead, but we just find that the, this uh, pallet wrapping works out a lot better for us. You probably can't hear a thing with that noise in the background. So we're just going to pump this. Um, now we've wrapped it, just to protect our packer. We're going to pump it all up, all the way up, just to stretch the stretch the plastic, so it doesn't um, have to work so hard inside the pipe with the resin patch on there. So we won't go much further than that. We'll just wait for that bellow to come out, and that's pretty much it for us now. I'll tell you when. Keep going. Oh, there's different types of resin. This one's um, a slow reacting resin. So, you know, because we've got a hotter climate in Australia, for example, they bring in a slow, slow reacting resin. Um, you know, a lot of the technology comes out of the UK and um, they've got a fast reacting resin. So, you know, you've only got a couple of minutes and then it's kind of gone off. So this is just um, special wire. So what will happen, this will stay on the, on the patch. As we expand, this wire will snap. Um, it's just to help the patch stay in the spot that it's um, meant to stay in. So what happens, especially if you're going up a steep descent, what will happen, the patch can slide down um, and then you lose your mark. Then you, you, you're patching a section of pipe that doesn't need to be patched. A bit further, stop. Okay, now pump it up to 200. Okay, that's it guys, so we're at pressure. We're just gonna sit here now for the next hour and uh, we'll put the camera up there to show you what we've, what the finished product's like. You ready, Jack? Okay, so. Got a bit of cling rack stuff in there, but that's all right. We can get that out later. We'll have it to come out. Okay, so what we've got, we've got our um, our patch. Bloody beauty. Happy with that? Very happy with that.